When I joined the organization, I had donated much time, much energy, and resources to the development and the maintenance of the United Nation of Islam. Among those resources were my 11 children, including Caleb and Ayana. They had been uh, offered so that they could be developed in a way that would be a benefit to all of us, including themselves. And so that must weigh heavily on everything that happened because when they boil it down, they think, my parents put me in this. And, and it's true. This morning, I woke up and realized today's my dad's birthday. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he is a Capricorn. That's a yeah. shame. You can't even call him and tell him happy birthday because he won't accept that That's from it. You. Yep. It's really sad. Yep. And then after I thought about that, I realized everyone at the table is going to be affected by exposing yourself, your vulnerability, and things that you've been through. Mm -hmm. Those times when you all win the nation, you'll never forget them. Yeah. You'll never forget them. Hearing that is why I wanted to make sure that I did something. What a federal agent reached out to me. He just wanted to know uh, some of the things that's going on. And I just wanted to know from you guys if you had anything that you wanted to make sure that I shared or brought up and uh, to make sure I don't leave anything out. My thing is, the, the main thing about... <laughs> I can't imagine participating still after a realization of something or institution that derives on taking advantage of people, young and old. That's the most cowardly act I think anybody could ever commit, to take advantage of children and elders. And that's exactly what they're doing. Is and I personally witnessed children working un underage when they shouldn't have been. Yeah. So I remember um, when I came to Kansas, I did not go to school. I was shipped downstairs into a basement where I worked with um, two elderly people who trained me in the ways of making products for the nation's businesses. It's not like we would be experiencing the benefits of the business, like, oh, this is where you can go to wash your laundry. No, you'll be working here and washing other people's laundry when they come. It was just all, it was all a, it was all a lie. And I stayed in that lab for the next four years. But yeah, they still currently have children doing that now, what we were doing then. Um, I was sent off to Kansas when I was eight. <sighs> I was born in the cult, so my dad was already in it when he had me. And as a child, being separated from your family members, you go to a place you don't know anybody, you're staying with strangers, you're being told what to do 24-7. You're being abused, you're not being fed, you're being having to work in sewing factories, in supermarkets, in other places where no child should have to do that, period. Fear and isolation were their favorite tactics to use against us. The whole concept of the nation just blows my mind on how could parents send their children off. Like, how could you send me off, Dad? Like, I know you only knew so much, but it's like, as an eight-year-old, I'm not 16, I'm not 18. It's not like I can speak for myself, do for myself, but it's kind of like, I don't understand, like, how can the parents not realize something's wrong with their kids? And allow people to just do these horrible things to us. I, I, I have to accept the blame where the blame falls. You know, if my daughter was sitting there saying, why didn't somebody come and get me out of this? And I'm not shrewd enough to figure out, you know, that she's calling for help. But, and I think if, if it happened to me, then it happened to every parent who dispatched their children somewhere where we couldn't see what was going on. So th those kind of things that occurred you know, it's like putting a nail in somebody's hand. You can take it out. There's still going to be a hole in there for the rest of their life. You know, I'm sorry that hole's in there. That's my fault. But that's why it's so important to get in touch with the parents or the children who are currently there now. Absolutely. So that it doesn't, if I can't heal the wound in her hand, at least I can prevent the wound from getting in someone else's hand. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important, you know, because it breaks that cycle. You know, so this, this cycle should stop. It's just start. It's only gonna stop if people stop it.